Hello, my name is Evan Kumar from MarinosPointPro.com. So today we are continuing with our series of numerical reason, and the topic is heights and distance. So it is an important topic because previous year uh, approximately two questions I guess has come from this topic, that is heights and distance. So it is an easy topic. We just need to understand how to approach the things and remember certain uh, values like tan 30, tan 40, tan 60, these kind of things. So without any delay, let's start with the questions. So the first question is, two ships are sailing in the sea on the two sides of a lighthouse. The angle of elevation of the top of the lighthouse is observed from the ships are 30 degree and 45 degrees respectively. So the lighthouse is 100 meter high. The distance between the two ships is. So I will draw the figure for this. So imagine this is a lighthouse. And two ships are sailing in the sea on the two sides. So one ship is here, one, and the other ship is here. The angle of elevation of the top of the lighthouse is also. So the angle of elevation will be from this ship and from this ship. One is 30 degree, and the other is 45 degree. And the height of the lighthouse is 100 meter. So imagine this is A, B, C and D. Now we need to find the distance between two shapes. So this is shape 1, this is shape 2. The distance between shape will be B, B, D plus D, C. That is, we need to find BC which is equal to BD plus DC. Now we have to find B, how we can find BD and DC. So uh, we will consider two triangles. So in first triangle that is ADC. So in triangle ADC what do we have? So we know that tan, tan theta is equal to perpendicular by base. So we will write tan 30 degree is equal to perpendicular by base. So this is perpendicular AD by base that is BD. So this will give tan 30 by value of tan 30 degree is 1 by root 3 is equal to AD. AD we know that is 100 by BD. So this gives us BD is equal to 100 root 3. Now coming to triangle ADC. Okay, sorry, this is ADB. Here yeah, this is ADB. Now coming to triangle ADC. So on similar pattern, we can directly write tan 45 degree is equal to AD by DC. So this gives us tan 45 degree is 1, AD is 100 by DC. So this simply gives DC is equal to 100. Now we have to find BC. So we got our formula for the values. BC is equal to BD plus DC. So BD is 
100 root 3 plus dc is 100 we'll take 100 as common we get root 3 plus 1 now we know the value of root 3 is 1.73 so 100 plus 1.73 and plus 1 that is 2.73 which equals to 273 meter that will be our answer so the distance between the two saves is 273 meter moving on to next question the next question is the angle of elevation of a ladder leaning against a wall is 60 degree and the foot of the ladder is 4.6 meter away from the wall so the length of the ladder is so drawing the diagram for this will be like angle of elevation of a ladder leaning against a wall so suppose this is a wall this is the base so in the foot of the ladder is foot of the ladder is 4.6 meter away so this is 4.6 meter away and it is leaning against the wall so we got our figure this is a b c and the angle is angle of elevation is 60 degree so and this uh, difference in the distance is 4.6 meter the length of the ladder so we have to find ac is equal to what right so in triangle abc what do we have so we write cos 60 degree so we know cos theta is equal to base by hypotenuse so base is bc by hypotenuse that is ab Okay, and here the length of the ladder we have to find the length of the ladder so ladder is this right so we have to find a b not a c so here we get b c by a b and cos 60, value of cos 60 is 1 by 2 BC is 4.6 by AB. This gives us AB is equal to 4.6 into 2, that is 9.2 meters. So, this will be our answer. The height of the ladder is 9.2 meter. Moving on to next question. So the next question is an observer 1.6 meter tall is 203 meter away from a tower. The angle of elevation from his eye to the top of the tower is 30 degree. So the height of the tower is. So here it is saying that there is a tower. An observer 1.6 meter tall is 203 meter away. Um, actually there is a printing mistake this should be 20 root 3 not 203 so the tall is, is 20 root 3 meter away from the tower so a man is standing at a distance of 20 root 3 from the tower and the height of the man is 1.6 meter so this is the height of the man 1.6 meter The angle of elevation from his eye so the eye of the man is here so from here the angle of elevation will draw a straight line and from here the angle of elevation at the top of the tower is 30 degree so this is 30 degree now we got the figure a b c D and E. 
now according to the figure if you see we are given the length of d and e so de is equal to bc right because this is forming a rectangle so this and this side will be equal so de is equal to bc that is equal to 20 root 3 then bd is equal to ce bd is equal to ce which gives 1.6 right now in triangle abc if you see in triangle a b c because if you see we have to find the height of the tower so height of tower is this this is the tower so for that we need to find a e right and a e is equal to what a c plus c e now we have uh, we have found the distance of c e c e is equal to 1.6 now we have to find what is the height of a c so for that we are considering triangle a b c and here the angle is 30 degree so in that tan 30 degree is equal to tan theta is equal to perpendicular by base that is a c by base is b c Now here we have found the length of BC that is 20 root 3. So tan 30 degree is 1 by root 3 is equal to AC that is we have to find out AC by BC. BC is 20 root 3. So this will be cut and ac is equal to 20 meter so now we have found got the value of both so ae is equal to ac that is 20 plus ce and that is 1.6 so that will be 21.6 meter so this will be the height of the tower moving on to next question the next question is from a point p on a level ground the angle of elevation of the top tower is 30 degree if the tower is 100 meter high the distance of point p from the foot of the tower is so here it is saying in the angle there is a tower and from point p on the ground the angle of elevation of the tower is 30 degree and if the tower is 100 meter high the height of the tower is 100 meter so the distance of p from the foot of the tower so we need to find this distance so this is a b and c we need to find bc so in triangle a b c what we see tan 30 degree is equal to perpendicular by base that is ac by bc And 30 degree, tan 30 degrees is 1 by root 3. AC is 100. And BC is, we have to find out. So this gives BC as 100 root 3. And the value of root 3 is 100 into 1.3. 
which gives answer as 173 meter so this will be your answer so moving on to next question so the next question is the angle of elevation of the sun when the length of the shadow of a tree is three times the height of the tree okay this is also again root three times the height of the tree so it is saying for example that this is a tree this is the shadow of the tree and the angle of elevation is we need to find out that is theta a b and c so it is given that according to question what is given the length of the shadow of a tree so this is the length of the shadow that is bc is equal to is root 3 times the height of the tree so height of the three tree is ac so it is root 3 times height of the tree that is ac which gives bc by ac is equal to root 3 now in if we compare with the triangle so bc this is base right this is base and ac that is perpendicular so we are getting bc by ac that is base by perpendicular so base by perpendicular is the formula of what cot theta so if you remember cot theta is equal to base by perpendicular so here cot theta will be bc by ac which is equal to root 3 so when is the value of cot theta is root 3 when theta is equal to 30 degree when that is the value of cot 30 degrees root 3 so uh, the value of theta will be root 3 so this will be our answer now there is a, a different concept not different but a similar uh, track the different uh, there is a different term that is angle of depression so far we have seen the angle of inclination or uh, so now there may be term angle of depression or declination so this is nothing different but uh, here the angle uh, on the seeing perspective changes like uh, you can see in this figure when this is the angle of declination where uh, the observer is at a certain height from the object so far what we are seeing that the observer or the ship or whatever the thing is at the ground level and we are seeing the top one so this is giving the angle of inclination from here it is inclined but now what is happening is there is something below an observer is at a certain height and the object is somewhat here so here this is this is forming an angle with the horizontal so this will be our angle of depression so what many people make mistakes here is that if the angle of depression is there so what they mark is like suppose this is the object here and if the angle of depression is given 30 degree so they quickly mark this as the angle of depression so because in in case of angle of inclination we are marking this as angle of inclination so most of the people do when the angle of declination or depression is given they mark this as 30 degree but this is wrong because the angle is given with base of horizontal so here this horizontal was this line so this angle was 30 degree but now when angle of depression is given so for here the object is here and observer is here so now when the angle is given so the horizontal is this for the ob observer at this point the horizontal point is this line so from this line we will calculate the angle of depression so whatever the angle will be given 
it will be this one this is the angle of declination so and with the uh, properties we know that uh, when two lines are parallel and this is given as so alternate opposite angles are equal so this is theta so this will be also theta right so this is the concept of angle of declination so make sure that whenever this term is used you mark your angle clearly so we'll see one question based on this and uh, to understand it clearly the question is the angle of depression of a vehicle from the top of the tower on the ground is 60 degree if the vehicle is away from the building at a distance of 100 meter find the height of the tower so it is given here that this is a tower and a vehicle is 100 meter away from the building this is 100 meter and suppose the car is here so the angle of depression is given so angle of depression will be 60 degree this is given as 60 so this will also be 60 now we need to find if the vehicle is able to building find the height of the tower so we have to find the height of the tower so this is a b c now you can see that this is a very simple question which we are solving in the inclination also so in triangle a b c we have that tan 60 degree tan theta is perpendicular by base so the perpendicular is a b by base base is b c tan 60 degrees root 3 is equal to a b we have to find out and b c that is 100 so here a b is 100 root 3 so root 3 in value of root 3 will be we take 1.73 which will equal to 173 meter so the height of the tower will be 173 meter you can see it is uh, just the uh, reference of the angle which changes but the question and the way we solve the question will remain same so whenever the angle of depression is mentioned you just need to mention the right angle and you are good to go for solving the question as you know in case of inclination so thank you for listening to us and uh, if you are preparing for synergy you can get the study material and the link will be in the description moreover there will be certain uh, free test which we can give on our website so that will also be mentioned in the link below so you can go and practice your uh, how you have been practice uh, learning so far thank you also if you need uh, any other topic to make us a video on please comment in the comment section so that we can understand what you want to learn and what kind of questions you are facing issues so we can discuss on that also thank you